All right, the last one, part three for how to sleep when you're injured or in pain or had surgery is for your shoulder. Now, I am all too familiar with this because I've just gone through it, so this is hot off the press. When you're in hospital, if you've had shoulder surgery, you'll probably be elevated a little bit, but you'll also be in a sling, so that helps. But the sling still needs to be supported. So when I was in hospital, I needed a pillow. It was my left arm. I'll show you on my right arm, but it was my left arm. You need a pillow underneath the elbow because if you look at this, if I line my back and have my elbow there, it's actually in extension. It's not in neutral, okay? So when you're lying down, your elbow is lower than your shoulder. That hurts when you're injured. So you need a pillow right there to elevate it back up, at least into neutral, if not into a bit of flexion. Now, again, when you're on your back, you need this pillow here to be minimal. However, because this is elevated and you need to be propped up a little bit, if I'm here, this is the trick that people, you gotta think about, if this shoulder's elevated and I don't, and I have a very skinny pillow, where is it? This one here, which I'm supposed to have when I sleep on my back, there, I feel like I'm sort of back a little bit, all right? So you may need a medium pillow to start, but especially in the acute phase of injury or surgery, where you're recovering to have that one a little bit decent, especially if your bed is elevated a little bit. So you may find that that is more comfortable. You may even, this position here, if you're in a brace, that's fine. If you're not in a brace and you find that internal rotation is a bit too much, that's where you're gonna have to have maybe a pillow here to hold on to, okay? So I've got a pillow supporting my shoulder elbow. I've got a moderate pillow here. And this position here, I've just hold there. Now, this arm wants to sort of fly around again lock them together, okay? And there's one way to sleep. Again, if you can sleep with your legs straight, fine. If you can't, pillow underneath the legs in this position here. And there's your comfy night's sleep on your back. Now, eventually, when down the track, I got out of my sling six weeks. It's now seven and a half, and I'm sleeping finally on my side. I cannot sleep on my injured side, so I have to sleep on my non-injured side, but I still need to be very much supported. Now, again, when you're on your non-injured side, when you're slide sleeping, good pillow here, okay? Foam, crushed foam, something like that, mixture of feathers, bulky, you can mold it. So it's gotta be enough to support from the head to the neck, okay? So don't fall into the trap of having a skinny pillow, or no pillow, here, and then having your head like that all night. Okay, it's gonna wreck. So you need that decent pillow in here that you can mold bulky so you are level. I still, from my knee days, I still have a pillow between my legs when I sleep, but it's actually really comforting for my lower back. Now, is that a habit thing, or is it just good for my back? I don't know. I find this is actually gold for lifetime, so having a pillow between your legs is great. That's what I do. It's helpful for you when you're injured. Gives you a bit of comfort. Give it a try. But when you are on your side with a holding um, with a shoulder injury, you need this pillow here because what tends to happen is this arm here tends to drag, okay, and it hurts too much. And there's nothing, there's no support here. And if you don't have the range, you can't get it, you know, you can't move it down, you can't get that range. So you just need to simply to have that pillow here. Now this needs to be probably quite a bulky pillow because you need to be able to, you know, have it fully supporting your arm. So quite a wide, bulky pillow there, okay? Now, with this arm, what I tend to do, I look, this sort of tends to hang out over the side of the bed or get pins and needles. You don't know what to do with it. Sometimes you stick it under here. I would just simply put that, if you've got a T-shirt on wearing at night, again, into there. It actually keeps it locked in, which is actually really nice. And that position there, and then hopefully, you'll be in a comfy enough position to be able to relax and rest and get some sleep with that injury. So there's my tips, okay? Lumbar spine, knee, shoulder, give them a shot. Pop some comments in below. If you've got any issues with these or you need more advice, let me know, happy to help.